My name is Cindy Chang. I am the Executive Director at the Midwest Museum of Natural History here in Sycamore, Illinois. Today we have Corny, a corn snake, um, as one of our little special guest visitors. So in Rosie Revere Engineer, Rosie built an invention to repel snakes. And so today we're going to be talking about snakes and whether or not that hat would work. Snakes are reptiles. Um, what makes a reptile is an animal that is cold-blooded. Right, an animal that has scales and an animal that will breathe air. Reptiles include snakes, lizards, turtles, and tortoises. So snakes live in all kinds of environments. They can live in forests, they can live in sand, they can even live in our own backyards. In um, little holes under the bushes, maybe in some dirt, under trees, leaves, um, and even in the cornfields. So that's actually where corny um, and all corn snakes get their namesake. Corn snakes are not named after their coloring. Corny is actually an albino corn snake. Typically they're orangish. Um, but really they get their name because they will sit under um, all of the corn stalks and they'll eat all of the rodents that would typically ruin the corn. So farmers actually really like corn snakes because they help all of our crops to grow. So if you want to keep snakes away, the best thing to do is make sure you don't have a lot of waste in your backyard. You can also put up a big fence, keep them out that way. You can see when a snake sticks out his tongue, they're actually smelling the air. So imagine um, when you come home and you're really hungry and you smell your favorite meal and you can almost taste it, it's the same kind of thing. So if they have a really strong scent that they have an aversion to, they will stay away from that. But really, snakes are going to respect you if you respect them. So you don't really need to be too worried about them. So some predators of snakes are birds of prey, like a red-tailed hawk might um, prey on a snake, or perhaps a mongoose or even a badger. So badgers actually have an immunity to some snake venom, but not all snakes are venomous. Some of them are constrictor snakes like corny here. So that means they'll squeeze their prey and use their muscles to kill instead of any venom. Rosie's invention might work. Um, sometimes snakes do get a little freaked out by loud noises because really they hear by vibration. So right now, um, Corny can tell I'm talking because of the vibrations in the area. So if Rosie's um, helmet made a lot of noise, a lot of vibrations in the area, a snake might get scared by that. But if we were to spray a snake with cheese, they would probably just get more angry and upset than scared. Snakes do not eat cheese. Um, instead, they are carnivores, so they, so they will only eat meat. So they like to eat a lot of mice and rats. So if you want to learn more about snakes, you can come here to the Midwest Museum of Natural History. You can visit us at mmnh.org, or you can start studying biology, zoology, or herpetology.